Welcome to my channel. My name is Devin Solarsano. I will explain a bit of the grammatical uses of English. First, I will explain the uses of will, be going to, and the present continuous. The use of will. Will is used for more for spontaneous action and decisions, in addition to requests, promises, possibilities, and probabilities. The composition of the sentences of um, will are first the subject. In this example, the subject in these sentences, we will be all friends, is we. More will more infinitive verb. The infinitive verb is be. Now, be going to. It is used going to plans and intentions of the future. These are plans that you already have in mind even if the, pre if the precise data of when and where they have not materialized. The, comp the composition of the verbs, the sentences, excuse me, are in this sentence, I am going to see you tomorrow. First, the subject is I. More, the verb to be is am. More, going to, more, infinitive verb. Now, present continuous. If you refer to a 100% organized plan to a commitment and you know when and where. The composition of these sentences are First, the subject. The subject is you. More, verb to be is are. More, verb with ing. ing add to verb. In this example, Verb with ing is working. Working. Now, I will explain the use of modal verbs of deduction. One modal verb of deduction is must. The use of must. We use must when we feel sure that something is true or is the only realistic possibility. For example, he must live near here. This is a possibility. The use of might, may, and could. We use might, may, or could to say that we think something is possible, but we're sure. For example, she is not here yet. She might be stuck in traffic. Other example is He is not answering. He could be in class. Now, the use of can't. We use can't when we feel sure that something is not possible. For example, It can't be far now. We have been driving for hours. It is not possible. Now, in general, we can use modal verbs for deduction, guessing if something is true using the available information. The modal verbs we choose show how certain we are about the possibility. Now, I will explain the use of present perfect continuous. The present perfect continuous is composed of two elements. The present perfect of the verb to be, have, or has been, and the present participle of the main verb, root, more, ing. For example, I have been working I is the subject, have is the auxiliary verb, 
been is the verb in verb parts in past participle and working is the verb in the present continues is the present participle now I will explain the use of relative pronouns and relative clauses the relative pronouns we use relative pronouns to introduce relative clauses relative clauses they'll use more about people and things for example this is the house which jack builds we use who and whom for people we use which for things and we use that for people uh, or things. In this example, we used which to refer things, the relative clauses. We use relative clauses to make clear which person or thing we are talking about. For example, Mary is the woman who discovered radium. Now, the use of second conditional. The second conditional is used to talk about events that are unlikely to happen in the future. The composition of sentences of second conditional is first, if more subject more past participle must par uh, more past simple more world more verb in infinitive for example if i were invisible for one day i will play tricks on my friends now i will explain the use of past perfect past perfect is a verbal tense that is mainly used to express action that occurred before others that look play that that took place in the past. The composition of the sentence of past perfect is first subject more auxiliary more verb in past participle. For example. I had arrived home when you called me. Now, I will explain the use of reported speech. The reported speech is also called indirect style, and so it is the opposite of direct style, which uses quotes. Direct style is exactly, textually, that someone says. Report the speech is a way of telling someone else. For example, in direct style, uh, one example is I am on my way, says Tom. I am on my way is inside quotes. For this is direct style. And report the speech one sentence is Tom said he was on his way in this sentence there are no quotes for this is report speech thanks for your atten attention and bye